welcome back to another video so on this one guys I'm gonna wash the car I told you guys I was gonna show you guys how to wash the cars or at least the paint black paints the hardest to keep clean and to maintain the car is real filthy right now as you guys can tell there's a lot of smudges from when I was putting the lights on it and from because I haven't washed it it's been a while dirty rims I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I'm gonna do it how I do it I've seen a lot of videos you know I know how to wash cars but I've seen a lot of videos everybody does it different their own style so I'm gonna show you guys how to do the interior and the exterior a lot of people you know do it in and out or out and in but I usually start off on the inside that way I work myself way out so it's pretty dirty I'm gonna show you guys how I do it Vacuuming, vacuuming the carpets and I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum the inside it's real dirty but I'll show you the after right now such a nice day out and look at that it's pretty messy interior right now especially my side because I'm always driving But I'll show you right now how it looks. Yeah, so I was saying earlier, you know, you gotta vacuum everything. There's a lot of little dirt, little things like that. I'm gonna show you how I clean down the panels and the dashboard and the steering wheel and everything. And then I'm gonna clean the engine bay when I finish the inside. And then we'll go ahead and get to washing the car. All right, so the interior is all cleaned up now. I'm going to show you guys what I use, that way you get an idea. So I got a all-purpose cleaner that I use, and it's all, all uh, what is it? I'll show you the brand right now. I clean up all the, you know, dirty spots, and then go over it with a uh, protectant. Oh yeah, and then for the glass, what I do, my tent guy told me, is to mix... A lot of water with a little bit of vinegar so it's all cleaned up now it's nice I left the armrest down so it's like bucket seats and we need a fifth person in here we just lift it up so everybody gets their own bucket seat it's all cleaned up now look at that I gotta wash the outside, it's filthy. So I'm gonna show you a before and after of the in engine bay. I'm gonna go over it real quickly right now. And polish right. it. So the interior is all cleaned up. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the engine bay a little bit. Gotta make sure it looks clean. Another thing about keeping your car clean is if you ever try to sell it or something like that, and if you keep up with it, it's better value on the car or truck. So yeah, all the interiors are cleaned up now. I'm about to start in the. I'm about to start, and it's all shiny too. I'm about to start up on the uh, on the exterior. I keep locking the door, damn it. All right, so 
There we go. It's all shiny up, shined up. So watch me wash the car. It's really dirty. So you're yeah, gonna see right now how clean I'm gonna leave it. It's so dusty. It's so dusty. Y'all see the after. Alright, so the wheels are all cleaned up now. But the car is still dirty. I don't know if the sun can pick it up or the camera can pick it up. Yeah. Real dirty. So yeah, so I'm gonna be safe about the music that I play now. Basically, That's music that's not copyrighted. So all my other music that I played in my other videos, that I don't get copyrighted. But these songs that I play now, they're not copyrighted. So I'm safer that way. Instead of having to pay somebody for their music that I use without their permission. Because in this real world, everything is technical. wanted to get me they could but I'm gonna just start using music that's not copyrighted just to not keep it too boring but yeah you guys you see you gotta use it and not swivel your paint My car is dark. I got a 20% tint. When I got it, it didn't have any tint at all. Just the back window. But I went ahead and got a 20% all around, 35 on the windshield. And I think the back window is a 20% also. So it's really dark. Which I like that. by hand washing the car is the best way to do it can you guys let me know in the comments how you have to wash your cars if you have to do it by yourselves if you have to go to the machines to drive it through machines i've heard this on tiktok it's not copyrighted that's it or how y'all wash your cars let me know you do it if somebody does it for you and if they do it for you that's good that you support their hustle because it's not easy doing a couple cars a day. That's a workout, man. So yeah, I usually wash about to right here. And that's it, and then I come back around to wash the lower portion of the car, which is the dirtiest part, at the end. And I wash the mitten, and then I go to the other side. And then I clip my mitten at midway to the cleaner side, to do this side. To do, I mean, this half of the car.
I'll leave it like that. And that way I know I've got to rinse it before putting it back in. And that's a wrap. Well, not yet, actually, I gotta dry it still. So it's a workout, like I said, I respect people that wash cars by hand. Cause you gotta wash it, dry it, in and out. But yeah, that was pretty quick, but it does get you exhausted, you know? If you guys didn't watch my last video, you should watch it. If you wanna learn how to put lights under the car, you could change it to any color the remote has on it. I only showed you guys purple and green. But yeah, I gotta get to drying the car now. 
I'm gonna show you how to do that too. It's gonna consist basically of the same method that I use. So you're gonna scratch up your paint. Um, yeah, it's better to dry it because if you don't, if you don't want water marks, and yeah, dry it by hand. All right, so I'm gonna show you right now how to dry it. You know, you just go back to the rim real quickly just to, just to clean it up. So here's the final product guys, look at that, man, look at that gloss man, sick. Look at that, so yeah basically you know I started in started with the uh, interior and the carpets clean it up clean the dashboard the door panels work your way out it's a nice little van black on black so the interior is all glossed up I gotta put that down I'm not used to having it up the emergency brake try to take off and figure find um wonder why I can't take off it's all cleaned up now. And then of course, like I said, if you want your air freshener, or whatever type you use, you put in there. But personally, I have a cologne that I use in here. You gotta be ready for anything. So I have my cologne. The car smells fresh. So yeah, interior is how I do it and then the exterior. Start with the wheels, finish with the body and the glass and then the tires at the end. So yeah guys, tell me what you think. Like I said, you know, if you learn something off of this, that's great. That way you can get a better car wash next time. Or you know, if you have any more tips that I could take, let me know too in the comments below. Yeah, you guys stay tuned to the next vlog. My vlogs really are about everything that I do, and I'm a really like a handy guy too. You know, I do a lot of little mechanic things here and there, and then also, you know, I like to. We all like to go out, so when next time I go out, I'm definitely gonna vlog. I was gonna do a Thanksgiving vlog, but I was exhausted after changing the rims on the car. I mean, on my mom's truck and all that, and putting the lights under it. But yeah, if you guys watched my video, I appreciate that. Again, you know, little by little. So you guys go ahead and comment, like, subscribe. Share my videos, guys, if you like. If you think somebody...
finds this interesting family member cousin uncle aunt i don't know let them know that they could watch my vlogs and they could learn something if they if they're into this car stuff uh, if you guys know like i said my other vlogs consist of me going back to the flea market next week and to pick up my boots y'all stay tuned